We're going to look at the search testing now. This search method you wrote when you watched the chapter 12 lectures. All we're doing here is we're creating a random hand right here. The reason I put 26 cards into it is that's half of a deck. And I'm going to look for a random card called find me. And I'm going to search in the random hand, which should have 26 random cards in it for this card, which find me, which is a random card. So some hands of 26 are going to have the card in it and some hands will not. So if in this first one right here, we're searching for a queen of diamonds, which happens to be right there at index zero, one, two, three. So this one worked. The next one, uh, two of diamonds is at index nine. You can see it's at index nine right there. The first one that fails is right here. So it's index, when the index is negative one, that means it didn't find it. So we're looking for a two of diamonds and there is no two of diamonds in this hand. So that's where you get the index of negative one. You may have to run it a few times to see a negative one index. For example, this run, I got, well, it's weird that I got two indexes of zero, but it's just random, so it can happen. But you won't always see index of negative one. But if you run it several times, there's a negative one because we're looking for an ace of diamonds. That's not in there. Run it again. There's another negative one. It's not in there. Uh, and so if you run this a few times, you should see the index occasionally being negative one. All right, that's the last part of your lab. And then you're gonna, you're gonna zip this and turn it in. I don't need the sample output uh, file, but if it's in there, it's totally fine. No worries.